Hey gents, nice to see you. The sun is shining here today, the gales of yesterday are gone and we're ready for a good shave. So I'm using the Solaris, Phoenix and Bow Solaris tonight. I've got my new 203 all finished and ready to go with the new Tuxedo Knot. So we'll get going. Now, I have to tell you, gents, that this knot is the softest thing I have ever had on my face. It's rather fantastic. The knot's quite soft, and I think I've set it just a little bit high. It's um, very nice for bowl lathering. And well, actually, it's very nice for face lathering, but it's just a little soft. So maybe I have set it just a little bit too high. The two coins that I had stuck in the handle, I decided to leave them in there. I cut some rounds of plastic so that I wouldn't add any further weight to the brush, and I just went for it. And it's in. Ah, oh, soap everywhere. Now I'm loving this soap. There's a real depth to this. You can smell that the citrus is lemon. Although it's not obviously lemon, it smells sort of a bit orangey as well. There's a bit of a woodsy smell behind it. I guess that's the rosewood that is the other main ingredient. And there's peppermint in it, which is, I find it very refreshing, but it's not like having a menthol on your face. I unfortunately have missed the deadline for the 25% off of the Solaris. Uh, advertised on the Phoenix and Bow website but oh, it's a lovely soap I'm well enjoying it now I've got my uh, gem bullet tip Micromatic single edged razor today I love this, but it's a sharp razor, um, or a sharp razor blade, I should say. So I'm going to be careful with this one. Now what I've been doing, and you may have noticed on some of my other videos, is that I've been experimenting Was stretching my skin a little bit. I don't remember, it was something my father always did. Um, and I have to say, I do find That it just helps me get a little bit of a closer shave without going against the grain. Um, I don't do it on every pass, just on the first one as you've seen. And I'm finding it to be quite good. And the other thing I'm really trying hard to do is to blow my cheeks out and make sure that I get a good stretch of the skin. It 
it's just something I've been experimenting with really because um, when I first started shaving with a double edge safety razor or a single edged in this case I just went away just went ahead and shaved without really paying much attention much how I used to shave when I used a cartridge razor really like this. I'm using a Persona Gem single edged blade. Can't show you very well but I buy 10 and they come in a little packet like this. And um, well if you're an experienced shaver with a single edged uh, safety razor you'll know. But if you're not experienced um, be aware that if you're looking on the internet for single edged blades they're not all uh, manufactured for shaving uh, a lot of them are used for you know oven cleaning or box cutters and things like that and um, they will not do you any favours at all so as I said I use the Persona Gems and I find them to be excellent. I know you guys in America, you've got the treat blades that you use as well. I've used my little bowl today with my sample. So I've absolutely got plenty of soap. I just squashed a bit of the sample into the bottom of my bowl. Gave it a quick soak with a drop of water, just a couple of minutes, and we're away, and it's worked very well. I've always wondered, you know, when they, uh, when you add soap, sorry, I'll start that again, when you add water to your soap, I've always wondered why they call that blooming your soap. Because, um, you know, I can understand when you talk about a brush blooming because it it spreads like a flower, it blooms. But um, I don't understand this about your soap, so I'm just going to say I soaked my soap. Do you know, I love this brush. I love this brush. I think I'm on the lookout for another. <laughs> it's quite a nice little hobby to uh, to buy a brush and to be able to do it up, put a knot in it, and actually use it is something that I've really enjoyed. Very good indeed. So maybe I'll look out for another rubber set, but one of these old ones with a wooden handle. I think that might be quite nice. Oh, I love this razor, it's great. These are widely available. I think mine was, I can't remember how much it was, £8 or something like that. It was really cheap. Great, great razor. Oh, 
I've got a spot or something there. Yeah, just caught myself there. It's funny how yeah, sometimes that happens unexpectedly. Definitely a bit of blood. We shall ignore it for the moment. I've got some stuff to put on it in a bit. And now the last bit. Oh, this brush is so soft. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Now I should just rinse my brush out so you can see it in all its glory. There we are. And there we are. Third pass and a nice shave. I should just rinse my face and I'll come right back to you. Back in a moment. Now gents, for that little bit of blood, you've probably seen this before, I've got a Prorasso gel. What's this say? Gel repair gel. 
and uh, it's very thick. About there. Oh, it stings. Yeah, I've got the right spot. But that's very thick stuff. Uh, inexpensive. I find it works really well. So now today I've got just a little bit of the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm which I must admit I do like a lot Oh that feels good I've just spread that sticky gel all over my face Perhaps that wasn't so good. And also, I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, Parasso Eucalyptus and Menthol Aftershave because I'm quite getting to like this. So just one spray, don't breathe in. It's a nice smell. And if I don't go too mad with it, the menthol is bearable for me because I'm I'm quite sensible to sensible. I'm quite sensitive to the menthol. I don't know about being sensible. So that's my shave, guys, with my lovely brush. I'll just dry that off a moment. Now a lot of the brushes that I've seen set seem to be sort of set low and it of course squashes the uh, the spread of the brush but I must admit I like a, I like a brush to, a knot to spread out on top of the brush so I'm very pleased with that. Excuse me going on about it guys it's uh, it's very nice. Anyway just to finish off, I'd like to say that uh, I'm fast approaching 50 subscribers. Uh, I think I was on about 46 the last time I looked. So for all of you that watch my videos and uh, for those that have subscribed, thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate it. I only started doing this be because I'm unwell and really it was for my own entertainment. And... Um, well, to currently have 46 people that are subscribed to my little channel and various people that pop in and out and watch it, I think is quite something. So uh, thank you very much. Much appreciate it. Now I'll get this out as soon as I can, first thing in the morning. And uh, I hope you all have a good weekend and a great week ahead. And I'll see you in a week's time. All the best now. Take care.